Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with, well, a VR log, I guess. Um, this is actually my character in VR chat, um, a little tiger kigurumi wearing lolly. <laughs> um, it's about as close to tiger as I found, so, you know, there you go. Um, and I don't have money to get a custom avatar made or... You know the skill to make one myself um, as you can kind of tell with my voice um, my voice is kind of shot um, when it comes to recording so this is about the best I can do and I figured I would choose something low energy to let you guys know a few things that are going on um, in particular this month emotionally is always always terrible on me it always is there's almost nothing I can do as it is I have almost uh, constantly a emotional sort of upheaval or breakdown uh, happening in these months but uh, in particular this year has been really brutal and there's a lot of reasons for that um, one of the prime reasons being kind of where I am right now um, <laughs> or at least it has something to do with it um, I came to VR chat um, to join a community that was already here and was already built up and, you know, be part of it. And uh, in the process, I developed a feeling for a certain person in that group. And I admitted it to them a while back about three days ago now as of recording this video and uh, she very much uh, I wouldn't say rejected but she was very much adamant that she is a terrible person she doesn't she doesn't deserve anything like that and that she is not a person I would want to enjoy and uh, I mean I you know me I'm not typically a guy who takes no for an answer like that I'm typically a guy who especially if I already see the good in someone do not believe shit like that and I told her that I don't believe that that I believe that she isn't a terrible person. I, I believe that you do deserve uh, something better. Um, un it's unfortunate that at the time she kind of cornered me um, because she was also dealing with a thing that is really rough for her. Extremely rough, in fact. Um, but I won't go into details because that's her business, not mine. Um, the truth is that uh, I do actually care for her a lot I I mean I feel like I shouldn't uh, care for her as much as I do but I, the truth is I do and I can't stop that and I did tell her that and I told her, I, I understand right now, this is not a good time. And quite frankly, uh, it doesn't have to be, you know, an immediate, you know, let's make something of this because there's a lot going on. But I want her to at least know. She said, all right, we moved on and we had a decent night that night. Um... And that was kind of how that night went on. 
the uh, the major problem came later. Um, I'm emotionally, like I said, emotionally, I'm a wreck this time of year, and there is not a lot of effort needed to set me into a, a depressing spiral, as it were. Um, some people have the holiday blues happen during Christmas and all of that. Mine happens during February, during Valentine's Day. I have several relationships, or at least a couple uh, in particular, where I was very much uh, committed to that person only for the first one to slip, <laughs> just uh, for lack of a better phrase, uh, slip through my fingers because I was holding on too tightly and she didn't care for it and I don't blame her for it in the slightest. I was too clingy and that is on me. And I do apologize to her if she ever sees this for whatever reason. Uh, also, look at me now. I'm a tiger lowly and kick her for me. <laughs> um, but the second one the second one, um, she admitted to cheating on me, and I tried to look past it, but it, it eventually just, just, I couldn't, I couldn't let it go. It was too much of a betrayal of trust, and the relationship ended. And with that relationship, I actually took the opposite, uh method that I did with the first one and was a little more aloof, a little more relaxed and it didn't work out for me anyway. Uh, I think what causes this month to be terrible for me because of those two relationships is that their birthday is in early February but the relationship never lasted past their birthday and in fact ended before Valentine's Day. They, uh, they were, they were people I really cared for, and it uh, still hurts to this day. And apparently, it is coalesced into a complete and utter dread for this holiday, and a depressing. Uh, a constant depressing episode every year during the season. Every time. Although, honestly, I think last year was probably better than this year. Um, anyway, to get, to get back on topic, the reason this year has been so bad for me is after admitting all of that, um, I'm not sure if she's doing it intentionally. She probably isn't. It's probably um, secondary thought in her mind. But she seems to be taking the opportunity to try and prove her point. That she is a terrible person. That she's too selfish a person. She She's not worth caring about. Um, and I still don't believe it, not even now, as I'm in a very depressed state as of what happened last night. But at the same time, um, she is doing that, whether intentionally or, or not, and uh, it is destroying any gains in mood I had this year and I can't really blame her for it it's all on me uh, it's in my head it's in my fucking brain that is causing all of this to be a problem but 
at the same time, I have to admit, even on camera, that it is hurting me. But anyway, regardless, moving on. Uh, enough of my love problems. Uh, it's just, you know, something you want to hear after Valentine's Day. The, stream, the streamer slash YouTuber has love problems. Uh, who knew? Uh, uh, there's, uh, there's also the fact that financially, I'm not doing too well either. Financially, there seems to be a vendetta against me, too. Um, and it's technically also my fault, but at the same time, not. Um, when it comes to health insurance, I went through the last year without it. Um, for whatever reason, they just couldn't get it sorted. They could not figure out that, oh, I'm not part of the union anymore, I'm with the company, so I'm entitled to the company insurance. They gave me the ring around for months, months to about a year. And then at the end of last year, I was told, you know, several months prior that, oh, it's sorted, you can do this now. And I was like, oh, okay. And I went to try and do it. And they said, um... We still have you registered as union. And I was confused because I was told directly by them a while back I wasn't anymore. So then more shenanigans ensued. They kept in contact with me. Uh, I that It took them a while to actually figure it out, but they did figure it out. I'm on the company insurance now, and it's a fairly decent plan. It's it's uh, the cheaper options, but it's a fairly decent plan. It's also a fairly um, costly plan, given my income. Um, I was making more than enough to get by uh, previously. Now, with the health insurance taking its chunk out, I am very much not making enough to get by anymore. I've been doing the math for the last couple of weeks. Everything, everything I'd been doing before, I have, I'm have. i going to have to cut corners. I'm going to have to do what I have to to make it all work because everything I used to do is now too much. And to be honest, I wasn't doing that much in the first place. I was helping who I could here or there. I was supporting people you know, I care about. But I might have to stop doing that. I might have to focus only on myself, which is, you know, minorly selfish in and of itself, but at the same time, it's something that I have to do if I want to continue being eventually able to help other people. That said, um, I don't know if even that will be enough. I am, I am borderline desperate at this point. So I reopened my Patreon. I altered the tiers a little bit. They were too spendy where I had them set. And quite frankly, it was atrocious. So I changed them from where they were to just the three tiers, one, two, and five. Um, the five being essentially like a sub to Twitch, uh, which will also get you access to my private Discord. I'm usually on my Discord all the time. I'm usually on Discord, period all the time while I'm at work or whatever, so you guys can just shoot the shit with me um, as much as you want, pretty much, at that point. But, uh... That's, uh, that's a thing that I have open, and, uh, 
if it wasn't for the fact I've been sick as shit for the last couple of days, I would have been streaming every day for the last three days. As it is, I took a day off hoping I could do it and I just couldn't. My voice went and other occurrences happened in regards to the first thing I talked about in this video that uh, made it so I only got worse from there. My emotional state did not help my health at all. And yeah, that's pretty much how that goes. Um, with that in mind, um, yeah, I do have the health insurance, but I know it's just a cold. I, I, I don't, I don't need a doctor to tell me it's just a fucking cold. But I might need to do something. Um, if common cold medicine doesn't do it, I wasn't expecting to get sick, so I didn't buy any, but, uh, I'm going to get some while I'm at work and see if that helps. In the meantime, um, I'm just going to wait it out, see how it goes. And in regards to financial stuff, I don't, I didn't want to tell you guys this so you can pity me or anything. Um, to be fair, it's something I should have accounted for. I just didn't expect the insurance to cost as much as it did. And quite frankly, the, um, the cost is significant, but I'm probably going to be able to manage. But if you guys feel you can contribute, uh, I figured I'd give you the option at the very least. The Patreon's up. Uh, the tiers are up. Um, that should be all the alterations I need. I did change a couple of the goals, you know, here or there. I might constantly tweak those. But as it is, the uh, tiers are probably going to stay the way they are. I don't feel I, I'm, I'm worth more than that. But anyway... Yeah, here's me, <laughs> complaining, whining, and fucking being a depressing shit, because, you know, I'm a depressing shit. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna wallow in self-pity in the bathtub, <laughs> or something, and, uh, I will see you next time. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I don't know why you would. This is depressing as fuck. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I'll see you all in the next video. This has been the one the only Stray Cat VR logging. And letting you guys know that the future of a lot of things will be changing soon. And I figure it's important to keep you guys in the loop because I love you guys and I want you to be aware of what's going on because truthfully you deserve that for you.